Hi, my name is Jenny Fisher, and I am a fourth year graduate student here at Alliant International University, and I am a part of the clinical PsyD program here. Um, I came to Alliant International because I was looking for a small program. I really knew that I wanted the PsyD program because I wanted more clinical based. I knew I did not want to go into research early on. And one of the things that I absolutely love about Alliant is that it, you develop such close relationships with your professors. Because it is such a small university, you get a lot of individualized attention and you find people that actually work really well with your personality, work really well within the community, you find out where they work, you find out your population you want to work with, and it's so easy to get linked up with people in the community that way. The professors here are just amazing. They have a lot to offer, and they are so interested in helping us learn because they don't look at us necessarily as students, but we are their future colleagues. So they want to make sure that we are just as well as prepared you know, to work in the field as they are now. We have a lot of people who work with families here, couples, substance abuse. We have some pretty well-known professors for assessment here on the San Diego campus. And so it's amazing. You can go places in San Diego. You know, Campus of Alliant is well-known because of all of those things. And you get the opportunity to learn from some of the best people in the field. My first year here at Alliant, I got hooked up with um, Dr. Gary Lawson and he was my intro and advanced um, psychotherapy professor and I our con personalities connected right away and I learned so much from him that in fact a couple years after I had taken that class he sought me out to be his teacher's assistant for his um, intro and advanced psychotherapy class and I have been working with him now. This is my third year as his teacher's assistant. I've developed an amazing relationship with him and he is not only um, my professor, but I would consider him my friend as well. He is somebody that I've turned to on personal matters, but he's also somebody that if I have a difficult case, I have no problem calling him or texting him at nine o'clock at night going, oh my gosh, I just met with this client and I, you know, I need some advice and he is, so willing to talk me through any situation. And it only helps that he him and his wife both here are professors on campus and they both work really closely with adolescents, families, substance abuse. So it's been an amazing experience working with him. And another professor on campus here is Dr. Don Viglione and he was somebody who introduced the Rorschach inkblot test to me. He is, he worked with Exner as if anybody who's going to find this video, he is somebody who's very famous in the world of assessment in terms of the Rorschach. And Dr. Viglione not only taught me to appreciate that measure, that personality measure, but he taught me to really enjoy it and like it. And now I use that measure in a lot of different you know, ways in, within the clinic. I have a mentor that I wouldn't necessarily call a professor. I did have him during a class, but he has become much more of a supervisor slash mentor to me, and that's um, Dr. Vic Frizeo. And he's been awesome. In fact, I had to take some time off of um, school due to a health reason. And the couple professors that I've mentioned really kept me in contact with the school along with Dr. Neil Rubner who's amazing hands down. I don't even know what to say about him but they, I mean it just shows how small this campus is that they knew that I was having a medical issue and that I had to take a leave of absence but they kept me involved in the campus. They kept in contact with me and you know when are you coming back and we're looking forward to you coming back and we're looking forward to helping you in any way possible you know so we can get you back in here and functioning at a superior level and you wouldn't find that on a, a larger campus. You wouldn't have that connection with those professors that they would take the time to check on a student who's no longer enrolled in the university, who's taking a leave of absence, but they took the time to check in on me, find out how I was doing, and were awaiting my return.